and you think your human body is solid you nothing solid about you you are like the television screen <laughs> but if you look at yourself look at yourself you are a colony of 100 trillion human beings they are called human cells and they are all you and each cell has been living on its own it has got its mind it can eat it can sleep it can excrete it can do everything but for economic reasons after these chartered accountants came they said no why we everybody do everything we'll come together so about 100 trillion of them joined together and made a colony called the human body and you think your human body is solid you nothing solid about you you are like the television screen you know i'm talking here it's like amitabh bachchan talking on the television or hema malini dancing you put the television on hema malini starts dancing you put it off hema malini is dead but you go to the dining room and put it on hema malini is born there that's what exactly happens to the human cell this was found out by a cell biologist called bruce lipton bruce lipton there's a beautiful book you must read called biology of belief this is a fascinating book this man was an atheist he never believed in god and he was a professor of anatomy in the wisconsin medical school and he was a cell biologist and he was studying not the dead cells like most anatomy study which he calls as a tombstone of a cell he was studying a live cell and he was studying this live cell and then he saw the cell is live moves about does everything it excretes it thinks it can you just put a drop of poison at one end of the petri dish the cell runs away from the poison you put a drop of some good food there the cell runs into the food and eats it then he saw on the day you are made you are the one cell you are called zygote your weight is 0.1201 gram but that one cell when suddenly gets a connection there is what's called the integral membrane protein with an antenna like your television antenna it gets a connection from universal consciousness and the cell becomes live and it just starts doing everything this man was looking at it my god he said i thought science runs this world but look at it something beyond science runs this world and he became a believer and he wrote this book and now goes around preaching like our friend uh, sapna who left her ophthalmology and went around preaching bruce now goes around preaching like a preacher people to have belief in god because it's god who runs the world that's what's called the biology of belief somebody was talking about emotions the two people our chartered accountant or psychiatrist emotions have been proved to be chemicals there is this girl called candace pert a brilliant phd student who came to the palace america's nih is called the palace where all kings sit like you know here icmr is a palace and like that they are all big people they i call them sarkari scientists and there are sarkari intellectuals here who give opinion on everything under the sun from sun to the moon everything they give so the sarkari scientist the head of us what's called sol snider snider is a big name a laskar award winner and a big name so this girl started her post doc with snider who had some money for finding out opiate receptors which are known to be only in the brain because we thought the brain main mind is only in the brain at that time so he told her find out if the opiate receptors are elsewhere this girl took to it like fish taking to water she worked very hard day and night day and night day and night but by the time the money was spent there was nothing left and still she has not got the receptor so sol called her don't i don't want to waste my money on you this receptor is over you go and do do something i don't want you as a post doc but this girl said i am going to find it one day something inside her saying i am going to find it one day so she told him i don't want money sir but i'll continue in this lab he said for a change okay continue in the lab 6 months later she found out an opiate receptor in the muscle opiate receptor in the blood vessel and she was so excited and she had worked so hard she deserved a holiday she locked her laboratory and went away for a long holiday then something sensed in this fellow something is amiss so he called the laboratory technician and said what was this girl doing at night they said sir she was working on the same thing and she has found something is it then lock was removed at night and he got the ledger and got all her data and before she came back from the holiday he published the data in a paper and he was so influential that he went to swiss academy and said this is the thing i have found and they said okay you will get the nobel prize 
So Nobel Prize was declared in his name, but it was not given because the date had not come. When this girl, Candace, came back, she was so fuming because he said, this fellow who destroyed my career now wants to steal my data. Very bold girl. So she went directly to Geneva and Zurich and then talked to all the members and said, this is my work. This is my original data. This fellow's photo started it. This is not his journal. And of course, Saul did not get his Nobel Prize. Candace lost her job. Candace lost her standing in the community, thrown out. 